वो लाइन ये ले लाइन हेलो एवरीवन एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो बच्चों एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो गौरी यस आई एम ऑडिबल ओके चलो गुड यू रिप्लाई सो चाय कॉफी पी लिया कि नहीं नॉर्मली मैं ये सजेस्ट नहीं करूंगी आपके एज ग्रुप के लिए कि आप कॉफी पीना चाय कॉफी बट यू नो अभी ये जब एग्जाम्स का टाइम होता है ना तब कॉफी पक्का पी लेना आपको हेल्प होगी चलो नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद द टेंथ पेपर सॉल्विंग सेशन ओके ऑन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर आईसीएससी टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड जिसका पेपर जिसका बोर्ड एग्जाम कल है ओके okay? अब नौ पेपर्स जो है वो वीडियो लाइब्रेरी में प्लेलिस्ट में चले गए होंगे सो so, आप देखना अच्छा गौरी सिंह यूर अ कॉफी लवर सो सेम पिंच मैं भी नहीं मुझे चाय भी पसंद है अच्छा आरुषि शाह सेम पिंच अब बाकी के बच्चे किधर गए गौरी सिंह पूछो आपको क्या डाउट है बच्चा आई विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व हक से पूछो उसमें कोई बात नहीं है जब कभी आपको डाउट सुनेंगे मैं जस्ट एक मिनट वेट कर रही हूँ सो so दैट बाकी के अपने जो भी बच्चे हैं स्मार्ट गर्ल है फिर वो स्वयं नायक है विराट है रोहन है जो भी बच्चे कुंदन है ये बच्चे भी ज्वाइन करे इसीलिए मैं रुकी हुई उनका कुछ मिस ना हो इसीलिए Okay. What were the places where Antonio's ship wrecked? Hi, smart girl. Coffee हो गया पी कर बाकी बच्चे किधर गए स्वयं नायक विराट कुंदन गौरी सिंह मैं आंसर भेज रही हूं आपको आई एम टाइपिंग इट सो दैट एवरीबडी वुड गेट इट वेट मिनट हाँ बच्चा देखा मिल गया ट्राइपोलिस मेक्सिको इंग्लैंड लिस्बॉन बारबरी एंड इंडिया ये सब जगह है जहां पर एंटोनियो शिप वेर रेक्ट आप लिख के रख सकते हो इसीलिए इसको टाइप करके भेजा है सो दैट यू कैन रेफर टू इट समझे गौरी यस वेट गौरी आई शेल आंसर दिस ऑल्सो See, page number ninety nine, line number two seventy one. 
बेसानियोज डाइलॉग वहां पर आपको इसका रेफरेंस है समझे गौरी गौरी प्लीज रिप्लाई रॉन्ग पेज नंबर कैसे बचा नहीं मेरे सामने टेक्स्ट बुक है बच्चा मैं टेक्स्ट बुक लेके बैठी हूँ स्मार्ट गर्ल Two seventy वाला point है ना half of all all his ventures failed. What not one hit from Tripolis from Mexico and England from Lisbon, Barbary and India. मिला के नहीं. Smart girl मिला आपको. Okay, you were seeing the workbook. अच्छा पेज अलग अलग हो सकते हैं बी दैट आई कॉन्ट हेल्प आउट बच्चा Wait a minute, I am answering you. Type करी हूँ बच्चा थोड़ा time देना. I'm coughing ना that's the reason मुझे बहुत तकलीफ हो रही है type भी कर रही हूँ खास भी रही हूँ पढ़ भी रही हूँ सुन भी रही हूँ. मिला आपको आंसर
See, I shall read it out for you. The English Channel, the good winds, the good winds hands near the mouth of the Thames, the scene of many shipwrecks. That is what do you mean, na? And one not five line number अगर आप देखते हो तो वहाँ लिखा है hath an hour the sea cast away coming from Tripolis that was said by Tubal. That's it. तो क्या confusion है इसमें? See, uh, agar aap act 3 scene 1 dekhte ho, page number I would not say, Salarino jo bol rahe why yet it lives there unchecked. Now, wahan par unchecked likha hai na, unchecked ka matlab hai, it is not confirmed. Okay, it is not confirmed. So, Goodwins ke yahan par ship wreck hua hai ki nahi hua hai, ये कंफर्म पता नहीं है समझे आप सो so, तो ये सिर्फ शक था उनको कि वहां पर भी शिप गया है और फिर ट्यूबल कहते हैं हैथन आर्गसी कास्ट अवे कमिंग फ्रॉम ट्राइपोलिस ट्यूबल ये भी बोलते हैं ना अदर मेन हैव इन लक टू एंटोनियो एज आई हर्ड इन जेनोवा मतलब और भी किसी का शिप रैंक हो चुका है शायद ओके ऐसे ही और भी अनलकी लोग हैं ओके गौरी इज द कंफ्यूजन क्लियर वी स्टार्ट विद द पेपर सॉल्विंग सेशन Okay, understood now? Let's begin. Just give me a minute. So maximum marks are 40 as always. Time allowed is one hour. All questions are compulsory. The marks intended for the questions are given in the brackets. You need to select the correct option for each of the questions. Okay. So we begin with section A, question 1. The story, The Little Match Girl, belongs to which category? A. Adventure Story B. Folklore C. Didactic Story D. Mythology So what should be the answer for question number 1? चलो चलो आंसर दो आप आंसर देंगे तभी फायदा होगा ना क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आंसर इस सी इट्स अ डायरेक्टिक स्टोरी करेक्ट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द स्टोरी द लिटिल मैच गर्ल इज बेस्ड ऑन द थीम ऑफ डैश ए Faith and hope, B. Life and death, C. Family bonding, D. True friendship. Question 
The correct answer for this question is A. The story The Little Match Girl is based on the theme of faith and hope. Okay, faith and hope. That is the correct answer. Satya Mati, Galat answer, Deviya Bacha. Kya hua? Aap beech mein kaha gaya bo jate ho? Okay, what is meant by didactic? Gauri, didactic story matlab koi aisi katha ya koi aisi story jisse lekhak jo ke wo kuch sikhana chaate ho. So, jisse koi sikh mile aisi jo bhi story ho. Okay, usse hum didactic kehte ho. मतलब उपदेश करना बोलते हैं हम लोग उपदेश पर उपदेश पर जो भी कहानियां होती है ऐसे कहानियों को हम कहते हैं डायडेक्टिक डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस गौरी ओके नेटवर्क इश्यू ओके गुड स्मार्ट गर्ल गुड we have also answered it. Very good. Okay. Now coming to the next question number three. Why the cage in the poem, I know why the cage bird sings, has been described as narrow. A. Because of its small size. B. Because of the iron bar around it. C. Because of the restrictions imposed on the bird. D. Because of the huge size of the bird. The correct answer for this question is C. Correct Gauri, correct smart girl. Correct Arushi, correct Satyam, perfect, very good. <coughs> Who is the smile, correct smile, Aati, correct answer, Diya, very good. Now, section A, question 4, the poem, The Patriot is a satire on Dash. A. The memory of the masses. B. The uncertainty of the human life. C. The quality of life led by the soldiers. D. The fickleness of the public opinion. Okay, Amrita, I'm sure you have the same sweet smile as the emoji depicts. Yes, very good. So correct Arushi, correct Amrita, correct smart girl. The perfect answer for this, the poem The Patriot is a satire on the fickleness of the public opinion. Very good Satyam. Virat. Section A, question 5. The crocodile in the story, the blue bead, has been described as having inch thick armored hide. What are the chings in this armor? A. Huge tail. B. Eyes and underarms. C. Big mouth. D. Yellow underbelly. Come on, answer me for this question. Chinks in the armor matla, pata hai? Chinks. Chinks in the armor ka matla hai ki koi bhi jo weakness ho. Okay, kisi ka weakness ho. Okay, pata uske personality mein koi weakness ho. To usse kaha jata hai chink in the armor. Yane ki weakness. Hey guys, just a minute. Just a minute, please. Excuse me. 
So we'll move on. Question six: Which of the following conflict is shown in the story? The blue bay. A. Sibia versus Gujar woman. B. Human beings versus wild nature. Option C. Human beings versus animals. Or option D. Daily heroism versus routine life. Please do answer. Yes, so the answer is option B. Human beings versus wild nature. Smile, that is Amrita, you are wrong. Satyam, you are wrong. Gauri, you are correct. So we'll move on to the next question. That is section A, question number 7. Who says the following line and to whom? If your love do not persuade you to come, let not my letter. Option A, Porsche to Bassanio. Option B, Narissa to Cresciano. Option C, Jessica to Lorenzo. Or option D, Antonio to Bassanio. Yes, you are correct. Amrita, you are correct. Satyam, you are wrong. Smart girl, you are correct. Saima, I am sorry, you are wrong. Please do correct your answers. Okay. Gauri, you are correct. Section A question number 8. Which of the following was chosen by Bassanio to win Portia? A. Gaudi Gold. B. Pale Silver. C. Beautiful Bronze. Or D. Meager Ledge. And your time starts now. Yes, Amrita, you are right again. Smart girl, you are right. Satyam, yes, you are right. Saima. Gauri, you are also correct. Okay, so we'll move on to the next question. Section A, question 9. If Basanyu were to lose the love for Portia by choosing the wrong casket, then his end will be accompanied by the fading music. The fading music has been compared with Dash. Option A, the song sung by a span who has lost its partner. Option B, the song sung by a span before it dies. Option C, the song sung by a span to call its partner. Or option D, the song sung by a span before it swoops down. Yes, Satyam, you are right. Smart girl, you are right. Yes, so the correct answer is the song sung by Swam before it dies. Amrita, you are wrong. Saima, you are correct. Okay, section A, question 10. Portia defines Vasanya as having more dash. A. Love than Alcides or young Hercules. Option B. Birth than any other scooter. Option C. Love than Antonia has for him. Or option D. Intelligence than Shiloh. I think this is a very easy answer, right? Saima, you're wrong. Satyam, smart girl, yes, you're correct. Amrita, you're wrong again. Please do correct your answer, okay? Saima, you're correct now. So we'll move on to the next question. Section B, question 1. 
Read the following extract from the Merchant of Venice Act 3 and answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choice given below. So we have five questions, one mark each. So the rest, uh, the... So the extract is, it's the dialogue of Shylock, out upon her, thou torturest me. And then Tubal replies, it was my, oh I'm sorry, Shylock says, out upon her, thou torturest me to be. It was my turquoise. I had it of lay when I was a bachelor. I would not have given it for a wilderness of mouths. Then Tubal answers, but Antonio is certainly undone. Shylock continues, Nah, that's true, that's very true. Go to Bill, be me an officer. We speak him a fortnight before. I will have the heart of him. Is he full fit for very, very out of business? I can make what merchandise I will. Go to Bill and meet me at our synagogue. Go good to Bill at our synagogue. Go to Bill. So I'll display this extract once again. Okay, so we'll start. Section B, question 1, sub-question 1. What is meant by turquoise? A. A gift from Tubal. B. It was exchanged for monkey. C. A ring set with a greenish blue precious stone. Or option D. A turquoise ring given to Sherlock by his wife Lynn. Yes. Section B, question 1, sub question 2. The turquoise was exchanged by whom and for what? A. By Jessica for a monkey. Option B. By Portia for gold tickets. Option C. By Sherlock for precious stones. Or option D. None of the above. And your time starts now. Yes, yeah, so this answer was very much simple, I guess. So the option A is the correct answer. The turquoise was exchanged by Jessica for a monkey. Question number three. Why does Tubal say that Antonio is undone? A. Because his ship laden with precious cargo is wrecked. B. Because Antonio lost his credibility in Venice. C. Because Antonio feels that due to his loss, he needs to pay back the loan. And D. None of the above. So, the obvious answer is option A because it's ship laden with precious cargo is wrecked. Okay. So, question number 4. What is a synagogue? A. Sherlock's visiting place. B. Jewish, uh, Jewish house of prayer. C. A place where Jessica gets married. Or D. None of the above. Okay, so do remember, synagogue is a Jewish house of prayer. It may be asked. Hmm. 
Moving on to question number five. In what mood is Shylock in this scene? A. Angry B. Gloomy C. Revengeful or D. Annoyed So, Shylock is annoyed in this scene. So, do remember this also. Okay. Moving on to section B, question number 2. Read the following extract from the Merchant of Venice Act 3 and answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choices given below. Portia says, I never did repent for doing good, nor shall I. Nor shall not now. Foreign companions that do converse and waste the time together, whose souls do bear an equal yoke of love. There must be needs a like proportion of, of liniments of manners and of spirit. So, yes. The extract will display it. Okay. So we will move on. Section B, question 2, sub question 1. Which quality of Portia is compared to Antonio's in this extract? A. Love for Bassanio. B. Selfless generosity. C. Wit. D. Both A and B. Yes, so the obvious answer is option D, both A and B. Because because here Portia loves Bassanio and she, she has a quality of selfless generosity also. Okay. Yes, you are right, smart girl, Satyam, Amrita. Yes, you are right. So we'll move on. To section B, question 2, sub question 2. What shall Portia now repent now? A. To help Bassanio's friend Antonio with all her will. B. To marry Bassanio. C. To allow Nerissa to marry Graciano. Or to D. Declare everything she has as Bassanio's. What do you think all guys? Smart girl, yes, you are correct. Satyam, you are correct. Amrita, where did you go? I am waiting for your answer. Yes, you are correct, Amrita. Section B, question 2, sub question 3. Which of the following correctly explains the meaning of an equal yoke of love? A. Equal right over Shylock's property. B. The same bond of love shared by Bassanio and Antonio. C. Same interest for Antonio's life. D. Equal concern for Portia and her well-being. Your time is up. Oh, I 
don't see anyone has answered why so the correct answer is the same bond of love shared by vasanyu and anubhavi this is the correct meaning of the term i say or the statement an equal yoke of love do remember this okay moving on question 4 what made porsha conclude that antonio must be like vasanyu a both are extravagant and spendthrift b both are philanthropists c both lend money without taking interest or d both are similarity of features mind and behavior i believe we have solved this kind of question in the previous videos yes smart girl yes we have solved it right only the question was twisted or it was framed in a different way but the answer was the same so it may come in your exam like this may not be the question same but the answer remains the same the question can be asked differently okay moving on question number 5 which of the following characteristics of porsia is not reflected in this extract a her devotion to vasanyo b her admiration for antonio c her knowledge of the law d her generosity so the answer is option c her knowledge of the law is not reflected in this extract i don't see anyone answering where are you all guys please do answer yes mad girl you are correct amrita you are correct i saw your messages right now gauri you are correct too Yes, so we'll move on. Okay, moving on. Section B, question three. Read the following extract from the short story *The Little Match Girl* and answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choices given below. So the extract is: She struck another. It burned clearly, and when the light fell upon the wall, the bricks became transparent like gauze. She could see right into the room. So I'll keep this for thirty seconds, then we'll move on. Okay. Hi, Tehara. It seems everyone has seen the extract. And shall we move on now? Please reply. Where is Satyam? Where is Virat? Yeah, Virat. Okay, we'll move on. Section B, question three, sub question one. Who was she referred to in the extract? Where was she? Satyam, I am not ma'am's daughter. I am a, I am also English teacher. But ma'am was coughing a lot and she needed rest, so I took over. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to take it. Ma'am will only conduct because I 
saw your messages. <laughs> yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm not of mom's age. I am very younger to her, but she will continue. Don't worry. But she needed rest, so I had to continue. And because we don't have time, so I just thought of continuing. Okay, we will go. Okay, so the options. She's a little girl who was going to the church. B. She's a little girl who had lost her way while going to the church. C. She's a little match girl who was there in the market to sell matches. D. She's a little girl abandoned by her parents. Yes, sir. They were right. It's option C. Obviously, na. Smart girl, you're correct. <laughs> okay. Amrita, you're correct. Yes, I saw your message. Question two: What happened when she lit the matchstick? A. She saw a piece laid on the table. B. She saw a large iron stove and felt its warm and bright flame. C. She saw a huge Christmas tree lit with candles. D. She saw her dead grandmother. Yes, the answer is option B. She saw a large iron stove and felt its warm and bright flame. I guess everyone has answered correctly. Yes, Amrita. Okay, you're right. Satyam, you're right. Smart girl, what happened? It's not option A. It's option B. Okay. Section B, question three. Sub so question three. What happened to the things? After a moment, a the things which she saw when she lit the second match disappeared as the match burnt out. B the things which she saw when she lit the second match became alive after a moment. C the things which she saw when she lit the second match turned into things which she desired. D the things which she saw when she lit the second match. Got burnt in the fire. I guess it's pretty simple, right? It's option A. The things which she saw when she lit the second match disappeared as the match burnt out. Yes, Amrita, you're right. Smart girl, you're right now. Satyam, also you're right. Hello, UP Point. You're right. Okay. Section B, question three. Sub question four. What does the light from the matches symbolize in the story? A. The light of God and hope. B. The light of celebration. C. The light of joy and happiness. D. The light of fulfilling her longings. Oh, Amrita, you are wrong here. It's the light of God and hope. I know you must have been confused, right? Because the options were this, but please remember for the little match girl, the light of God and hope. Just remember like that. I know you would have ruled out the option B because the light of celebration was not at all the correct one. But I guess you had option um uh, you had a confusion in option A and option D, right? 
Hmm. It's okay. Just remember that, okay? Satyam, it's wrong, I know. It's okay. You are answering correct till now. It's okay if one is wrong. Don't worry. QP point, you are correct. Section B, question 3, sub question 5. The smile on the little girl's face when she died depicts her dash. A. Happiness of getting rid of a miserable life. B. Happiness of being in heaven with her grandmother and God. C. Happiness on being with her mother whom she had lost many years ago. D. Happiness in going far away from the world. Yes, Satyam, Amrita, you are correct. Happiness of being in heaven with her grandmother and God. So you tell me, were you confused on option A and option B or you were firm that no, it's option B? Yes, Satyam, Amrita, smart girl. <laughs> Yeah, confused. I knew it. But it's good you answered correctly, Samantha. Do remember this also, okay? Hmm. Satyam, very good. You were not confused. Great to know. Okay? We will move. So now... Section B, question number 4. Read the following extract from the short story, The Blue Bee, and answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choices given below. Oh, Baba, extract it number one. Okay, the mother crocodile, blackish brown above and yellow white under, a motionless, able to wait forever till food came. This antediluvian sovereign, this prehistoric juggernaut, ferocious and formidable, a vast force in the water, propelled by the unimaginable and irres irresistible power of the huge tail, lay lapped by ripples, a throb in his throat. His mouth, running almost the whole length of his head, was closed and fixed in that evil bony smile, and where the yellow underside came up to it, it was tinged with green. <coughs> Hi, Prasanna. I think you joined late. <laughs> so I'll keep this extract for a few seconds, then we'll go to the answers. Sorry, questions. Present you are from which school? And what about Damrita? Listen, actually, you missed the last session. We had a lot of fun. Yes, my girls said them. We had a lot of fun. We solved the doubts. Prasanna. Uh, actually, Prasanna, uh, Anaga ma'am is not conducting the lecture now. Uh, I'm now. Uh, 
ओके ओके प्रसन्न यू आर देयर ओके फाइन ओके और भी है From the day, perhaps a hundred years ago, when the sun had hatched him in the sand bank, and he had broken his shell and got his head out and looked round, ready to snap at anything before even he was fully hatched. From that day, when he had at once made for the water, ready to fend for himself immediately, he had lived by his brainless craft and ferocity. <laughs> Okay. So section B, question four, sub question one, which is not a characteristic feature of the crocodile. A, blackish brown upper body. B, yellow and large teeth. C, huge tail. D, yellow white color underbelly. Person, I am not getting this. <laughs> Actually, uh, Anaga ma'am was have was coughing a lot and she needed rest, so I took over. Okay. <laughs> Sattam, you are wrong. Amrita, you are correct. Smart girl, you are correct. Person, you are wrong. Question number two. In the passage, which of the following shows the crocodile being ferocious from birth? A. He was ready to snap at anything before he was even the even fully hatched. B. When he entered the water, he was ready to fend for himself. The sun hatched the egg to yield a ferocious crocodile. D. He was a ferocious, formidable force under water with a huge tail and an evil, ebony smile. Option A. The correct answer is he was ready to snap at anything before he was even fully hatched. Section B, question four. Sub question three. What could be the reason for the crocodile to lie motionless? A. The crocodile was dead. B. Sibi attacked him and he was injured. C. He didn't make any move so as to attract the prey. D. The crocodile was tired and wanted to rest. I think this is a pretty simple question, right? Hmm. Question A, yeah, correct. Satyam, instead of sending me the emojis, you send me the answer. Amrita, you yeah, are correct. Smart girl, you yeah, are correct. Satyam, you are correct too. Okay. Question number four: What helped the baby crocodile to grow to its full size? A. Cold water and fresh fish. B. Tepid water and rotted food. C. Cold water and rotted food. D. Tepid water and fresh meat. Oh, sorry, I displayed the answer. So it is tepid water and rotted food. I'm extremely sorry for this. I see no one is answering. Why so? Is there a lag, or is there some network issue, or you don't know the answer? No, I have only displayed the answer. Okay. Yes, Amrita, Satyam, Prasanna, you are correct. 
Satyam, I got to know you're correct. Yes, I saw your messages. Stop typing, okay? We'll go to the next question. That is question number five. What is true about the birth of the crocodile? A. The crocodile was hatched in a sandbag 100 years ago. B. The crocodile was hatched on a river bank 100 years ago. C. The crocodile was hatched in a sandbank 150 years ago. D. The crocodile was hatched under a mother crocodile in a sandbank 10 years ago. So the correct answer is option A. The crocodile was hatched in a sandbag 100 years ago. Yes, Amrita, you are correct. Smart girl, you are correct. Smart girl, by the way, what is your name? I have always heard Anagam is saying that smart girl. What is your name, by the way? Satyam, I know it's, his name is Virat. Smile, XT, her name is Amrita. What about smart girl? I got to know you are very smart in answering. Good. <laughs> By the way, tell me all. You want me to read the chapter again for you? So you just plug in your earplugs and you just listen. I'll read it for you. Or we'll just solve the MCQs. What say? Because we have solved enough of practice papers, I guess. We have solved 10 practice papers. I have more. But I think you should read the chapters once. So, there are minute, minute things which you may have left. So, it will be revised again. What do you think? Amrita, yes. What you will prefer? Treasure Trove or Merchant of Venice? Okay, Amrita says, yes, Satyam says he wants MCQs. Okay, what about present and smart girl? Okay, Amrita wants treasure trove. Okay. Sharon, I think I have spelled it correctly. Smart girl wants NCQs. Okay. Sharon, it's okay. I guess you have... You were attending the previous lecture, I think, Sharon, yes? Present it obviously depends on the majority, according to your wish. But what is... What you want? Okay, Amrita says... She's okay with MCQs also. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, Sharon, you was there. Yes. I heard the lecture. I was there. I saw everyone was answering. Glad to know. So I took over and I know few of your names, but I don't know about the smart girl. I think Prasanna joined now in this session. Everyone dressed, I know. Okay. So, we'll, without wasting time, we'll move. Okay. Section B, question 5. Read the following extract from the poem, I know why the caged bird sings. And answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choices given below. So the extract, then free bird thinks of another beast, and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees, and the fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn, and he names the sky his own.
Frost FF. Next question, okay. Who is this? This one, YG. Is the answer of English language correct? In which question? I think the answer key is available now. You may check it. Now, I I think and I have told you also. Okay, don't focus on this. Just leave it. Because the answers which you have written will not change. So, just leave that. What you will get, you will get. Now, just don't focus on that. You focus on this. You focus on the next papers. Okay. जो गया वो गया छोड़ दो. जो है उसे नहीं. Yeah, smart girl only told me, ना? It's available. Yes. Just see to it कि you don't make silly mistakes or you don't write or you don't solve the paper in a hurry check your paper once twice if you have time check it twice no problem and the speed with which we are solving here is since it doesn't mean ki you have to solve in that only roughly you get one minute for each question okay so 40 minutes 40 questions and if you are stuck somewhere Leave that question, solve the next question, and then come back. So you get tw uh, 20 minutes buffer time. So you utilize that 5 to 10 minutes or accordingly to check your paper and to just think over the questions which you have missed or you which you are uh, stuck on. Okay? Smart girl, it depends on you if you have to uh, reveal your name or no. It's so great for us because we can call your name. But it's okay. I don't mind if you want it to be a private thing. I don't. Okay. Frost FF ko bahut jaldi hai. We'll show the questions. <laughs> Section B, question 5. What is meant by the phrase another beast? A. More freedom for those who are in captivity. B. More freedom with which the free bird selfishly wishes for himself. C. More freedom to raise its voice against oppression. Or D, more freedom to take away what little freedom the cage bird has. Abhi baut hua aap loka chit chat ab answer do. Satyam ya correct. It's option B. Amrita ya also correct. Okay, smart girl, you are writing, but nothing is getting delivered. Uh, you may refresh the page, maybe, I will say. Sharon, you are correct. So, question two. Why does the free bird think of another breeze? A. With the help of another breeze, he would be able to achieve everything under the sun. B. With the help of another beast, you would be able to search high in the sky. C. With the help of another beast, you would be able to claim the sky as his own. D. With the help of another beast, he would be able to claim himself as the master of the universe. Mayank Raj. Justice for Bhonku Babu. Okay. This was the comprehension which came, right? Mm. Okay. 
Mayank, I'll suggest you leave that and you will Okay, ma'am, uh, just leave that. We will focus on English literature now. Frost, yes, I am showing the next question. Amrita, yes, you are correct. <laughs> Sad Bonku Babu. Uh, please don't think on that. I will just request you now. We will, uh, Vince will think about Shylock, Tubal and everyone, okay? Focus on this. Yes, Frost FF, you are correct. Next, Section B, Question 5. Third question Which figure of speech is used in the line and the trade winds soft through the sign trees? A. Metaphor B. Personification C. Alliteration D. Simile Yes, Prasanna, you are correct. Mayank, you are correct. Sharon, you are correct. Yes. Amrita, you are correct. It's answer B, personification. Satyam, you are correct. Section B, question 5, sub-question 4. What is indicated by the expression, fat worms waiting on a dawn bread lawn? A. The opportunities available to the whites in contrast to the African Americans. B. The food and nutrition available to the whites in contrast to the African Americans. C. The freedom enjoyed by the whites which is denied to the African Americans. D. The operation of the African Americans by the whites. Frost FF. <laughs> Tomorrow your board exam is there. Read all the options. If you are confused, read it again. Zain Sadiq, you are correct. No, sorry. Mm. Ha, Sharon, you are wrong. Amrita, you are correct. Frost FF, you are correct. Satyam, you are correct. Prasanna, you are correct. Mayank, Baba. You are correct. Yes, we will move on. Section B, question 5, sub question 5. Which figure of speech is used in the expression, he names the sky his own? A. Personification. B. Metaphor. C. Hyperbole. D. Metonymy. C. Hyperbole. Section B. Question 6. <coughs> Read the following extract from the poem, The Patriot, and answer the questions that follow by choosing the most appropriate response from the choices given below. Alack, it was I who leaped at the sun. To give it my loving friends to keep. Not man could do have I left undone. And you see my harvest, what I reap. This very day, now a year is run. So A, the first question is, who is I in the power extract? Question B, what does leaping at the sun signify? A, the speaker, the soldier, is I in the above extract. Leaping at the sun signifies having too many worldly desires. Option B. The speaker, the patriot, is I in the above extract. Leaping at the sun signifies his vaulting ambition that led to his downfall like the mythological character.
Okay, DC MVP, so motivate me. Ma'am, Bhagi, can I, ma'am? Sorry, I was there, I was there, but I had a little work, so I couldn't read. So I displayed the options, and I knew you will read it and answer correctly, and I see that everyone has answered correctly. I'm sorry for that. Satyam, I'm nowhere gone. I'm here only. Okay. Thank you, ma'am, for understanding. Okay. Section B, question 6, sub question 2. The speaker uses the phrase loving friends. Do you really consider them loving? And why? A. No, they were not his real friends, but were fickle as they were. They welcomed him with roses a year ago and hurled stones at him now. Option B. Yes, they were his real friends who gave him a hero's welcome on his return to the city. C. Yes, they were his real friends who were willing to do anything for him like offering son to him. D. No, they were not his real friends as they were part of the crazy crowd. The answer is option A. No, they were not his real friends, but were fickle as they welcomed him with roses a year ago and hurled stones at him now. Okay, Mayank says I got 30 in English language. Congrats, Mayank. It's a good score. You can even do better in the semester too. But now just don't think about it. Sharon, you're correct. Smart girl, you're correct. Amrita, you're correct. Satyam, you're correct. Mayank, you're correct. Question 3. Which of the following statements explains the given line from the extract? Not man could do have I left undone. Option A. I did nothing for the interest of the public. B. I did nothing wrong to harm the interest of the public. C. I did nothing to get a hero's welcome. D. I did everything possible for the public's best interest. My uncle no, it is not so good score, I know. But just feeling sad about it, just leave it. Just don't think about it. You have an opportunity to score good in the semester too. Okay? Just leave it. You did just think that you did your best today. And leave it. Smart girl, Amrita, Satyam, Sharon, Mayank, you are correct. We will quickly move to question number 4. Explain what harvest the speaker is referring to. A. The Patriots' expectations from the public have been referred to as the harvest. B. The Patriots' deeds have been referred to as the harvest. C. The public fickleness has been referred to as the harvest. D. The treatment meted out to the patriot a year later has been referred to as the harvest. <laughs> Mayan, thank you so much for your compliment. It means a lot. Yes, Amrita, smart. Oh, smart girl, you're wrong. Amrita, you're correct. Mayank, yes, you're correct. Satyam, no, you're wrong. It's answer B. I know you uh, will get confused in option B and option D. But the answer is option B. Okay? Sharon, you're also wrong, dear. Never mind, you have correct. Smart girl, it's not about saying sorry. If you uh, if you have 
wrong in this, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Just don't do this mistakes in your tomorrow's lecture. Sorry, tomorrow's paper. Okay? And smart girl, you are answering correct. You have answered correct. It's okay. Jatinder Singh. Uh, Jatinder, it's wrong, dear. It's the answer is option B. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Sometimes we should make mistakes because we learn from our mistakes. But just keep in mind, we should not repeat the same mistake. We should commit different mistakes so we learn different things from it. <laughs> okay, we'll move. Section B, question 6, sub-question 5. Select the option that explains the meaning of the phrase, what I read. A. The love and the respect you received from the public. B. The awards you expected to get from the public. C. The consequences of the Patriot's actions that brought his downfall. D. None of the above. Amrita is saying option C, consequences. Yes, you are correct. Frost FF, you are correct. Smart Girl, you are correct. Mayank, you are correct. Satyam, yes, it's time to go now. You have completed practice paper number 10. Chatanda, yes, you are correct. Sharon, you are correct. So, <coughs> if, some, if some of you have not checked the... Uh, Previous videos, just do it and I will try, I will conduct the lecture afterwards. I will, uh, you just be hooked on to the channel. If it is there, please stay tuned because I have another set of papers. Okay. Uh, Mayank, I have just joined, please don't go. <laughs> Man, we have solved the paper, okay? I I don't promise, but yes, I will try to conduct another paper, okay? Because I have some typing left. I will try to do so. Smart girl, thank you. Thank you for such a cute compliment. And it's my pleasure. Welcome, Amrita. Yes, Man, I will surely try. Uh, Jatinder, I think I am seeing you for the first time in the whole series. So if you have missed the other papers, you do uh, check that out. Maya, please solve the specimen paper. I think the specimen paper is very easy to solve. So I am not going to take that. We will check different, different things. Na? Yes, Amrita, everyone, best of luck. Don't get panic and don't think on today's paper. Let it go now. Welcome Satyam. And the, I will say sorry also and thank you. A big thank you. for uh, Because I came in between and uh, I told Anagamas to leave. But thank you for supporting and thank you for just considering. Because I am a bit new teacher. I don't have a uh, experience of live streaming. But yes, I can, if you have noticed, I conducted yesterday's lecture, the last one, because Anagha ma'am was really having a problem. But I <laughs> got to know, yes, you, you liked it and I'm very thank you and I'll say a big thank you for that. <laughs> Please do protest for Vangu Babu, surely, okay? Okay, so uh, thank you all and here with I'll end the session. If it's possible, I'll surely take another session. Till then, bye-bye and <laughs> all the very best for your paper. Man, koi bhi bonko babu ke saath itna pura kaise kar sakta hai? Ma'am, it doesn't look that you are taking the session for the first time. Thank you, smart girl. <laughs> uh, 
well uh, thank you thank you so much dishika bye amrita mayank everyone bye welcome dishika for this it's our pleasure to help you all guys please i'll just request one thing if you like the video if you felt that yes it was worth learning here you like to my session please do give a like please just like this video and leave a comment in the comment section after this video ends so i'll also get to know how was my session okay bye bye